and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you another wonderful recipe. Today is going to be lamb stew, cooked with white cabbage and apple. As you can see, I've got 750 grams of um, lamb chops in here. And first of all, I have to do marinade, then I can cover all meat with that marinade. To make marinade, we need a couple of ingredients, which I'll show you in a second. Okay. We have to add quarter of spoon black pepper, quarter of spoon thyme, quarter of spoon rosemary. Quarter of spoon, actually whole spoon, my drum, whole spoon red sweet pepper, quarter of spoon cinnamon powder. Half spoon garlic powder, whole spoon of um, coriander. We're talking about a um, teaspoon. Whole, whole spoon of tamic, I'll bury four of them, cardamom half spoon. Cayenne pepper, quarter spoon, cumin, Roma cumin, half spoon, And, uh, and a three of juniper roots. Now, let to crush everything together. It smells nice already. We also gonna add spoon of salt, okay. Now Half lemon juice. And two tablespoons of olive.
Now we're going to add all spaces and season them. Mix all together. Now we're going to cover. to the fridge till tomorrow. That's it for today and see you tomorrow. A lamp was in the fridge 15 hours. It's ready to cook now. Uh, we need also 350 grams of onion, five bay leaves, two of um, honey seeds, one cinnamon and one saffron. We also need a cardamom, one apple, 30 gram of um, butter, garlic, white cabbage, 300 grams, 350 grams of the carrots, salt, marjoram, black pepper, sweet pepper, thyme, rosemary, and oil. First, I have to warm the pan and because this iron pan, really heavy old fashioned pan, I have to warm really really well. Pan is warm right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the oil. And the butter. Half. Now we can start frying chops. Mm, I have to say they smell really nice. After two minutes fry, pound them. And try another two minutes. But after after two minutes, remove them on a plate. Onion. Add more butter. Add cinnamon. Bay leaves. And add speed as well. And a chaffron. Add the cabbage. When you start filled cabbage, add the garlic. It's about three minutes later. And I fry another two minutes. Add apple, thyme, just like half teaspoon, sweet pepper, one teaspoon, rosemary, half teaspoon.
black pepper, half teaspoon, my drum, one and a half teaspoon, and the salt, one. Give it 30 seconds and add the water. Good to chop this back. To almost cover all chops. slowly cook with about hour half an hour cooking behind us it's time to check how it look how it taste oh meat is nice and soft Need it. About 15, 15 minutes and it's gonna be ready. Alright, try to add some flavors. My drum, black pepper, and where's my way? Don't need the salt, it's fine for me. But you have to check yourself and then add some flavor if you need it. It's time to add the carrots now. Uh, as the meat is almost done. Fifteen minutes gone, we're gonna check what's going on. Looks good, looks really good. We can take it in sauce now. For taking it, we're going to use, as usual, water, cold water with wheat white flour. Mix together. and gently add to the sauce just a bit that's enough for me Bring it back to boiling. I'm gonna add some cream as well. You can add or not, depends what you prefer. <laughs> gonna do the last try. Need a bit more salt. More marjoram.
try. It's perfect now. Okay, it's ready. After our slow cooking, it's gonna be nice, juicy and soft, which I'll show you in a second. I will we'll check how soft it is. Look at that. Really soft. Really soft. So nice. Great taste. So moisty. Soft. Try cook yourself. Let me know in comments. Subscribe. Share. And see you next time.